Geographically, the rock of Gibraltar stands in splendid isolation for centuries, a symbol of defiance against a Spanish neighbor who'd like it back. But politically and economically, Gibraltar can't stand alone. And with Brexit looming, it's becoming acutely aware that Spain now has the means to apply real pressure. Britain needs the other 27 to sign up to deals on Article 50 and future trade. Each will make their own demands, and for Spain, theirs will centre on this little bit of Britain that stood on their southern tip for more than 300 years. First to feel the heat, according to those close to the Spanish government, may be the border crossing, which Brexit will turn from an internal to an external EU border. It'll be a situation where we have to take action, he warned, because the rest of the EU will demand we control the southern border. Even if we go easy, I can assure you things will be a great deal more uncomfortable than they are now. Gibraltar within the single market has been a boom town with 500 million customers on its doorstep. The economy has been growing at around 12% a year. The British government is going to want to protect Gibraltar and this prosperity in the Article 50 negotiations, which is why Spain sees the future status of the rock as an important bargaining chip. Spain, for example, says it will block the UK's access to Europe's common aviation area after Brexit if Gibraltar Airport is included. How many sacrifices will Britain make to protect the rock? The government here remain, for the time being, optimistic. How do you feel about being a bargaining chip? Well, I don't think Gibraltar is a bargaining chip. I think anybody who, who sees the negotiation in terms of chips and pawns um, is not understanding just how complex this negotiation is going to be. In the 21st century, the sovereignty of Gibraltar is not going to change, um, and therefore I think it's a wasted effort on the Spanish part to in somehow pollute this negotiation with the sovereignty of Gibraltar. But the reality on the ground is that some of the service industries, like this insurance firm, which have thrived on Gibraltar's access to the single market, are now looking elsewhere. So Gibraltar um, could lose you entirely? Gibraltar could lose us entirely in terms of the insurance company if we re-domiciled the entire business to another mainland Europe jurisdiction. The consequences in terms of premium income moving from one jurisdiction to another so be it. Um, you know, we have a business to run and, um, you know, we need to secure our relationships with our European partners going forward. They voted 96% to remain in the EU, but are even more committed to remaining in the UK. 30,000 people who will have no say in the negotiations that are about to begin, but whose future will be very much on the table when the talking starts. James Mates, ITV News, Gibraltar.